up, I'm Zan. And I'm Rosanna. And so today we're going to be doing a really, really fun story. Um, and the about best activity in the world. Okay. So our story that we're going to be doing today is going to be about the wine tree. And the story of the wine tree. And then we are Have also... We no. <laughs> we haven't done the story yet. Um, it might seem familiar to the last story we did, but it's not. It's totally different. Anyways. So for our activity today, we're going to be making clay keychains. Oh my god. I am so excited because, because we're going to be making keychains. I'm going to look up some octopus stuff because I really want to make an octopus. Yeah. So we have. You know like these little clay octopus you see on in the internet? Wait, they look super cute. So we have a bunch yeah. of different colors of clay over here. And we're going to get bunch. started with that. But before that, we're going to be doing our story, and obviously. And we also have some tools, obviously. Yeah. And then when we get to the activity, we'll be good. telling you guys, you know, what tools you need and what you need to do this fun little craft or activity or whatever with your friends and family. Or Basically, you just need these tools if you're using yeah, the tools. same clay we're using. But yeah, anyways, yeah. let's dive right into the video and get what started the? with the story for day. Once upon a time, a very long, long time ago, Jesus was telling his disciples about the story of the wine tree. And he said that I am the only true wine tree. And that my father is the gardener. And the wine tree, when it grows, and it has a bunch of branches, right? Obviously, because every tree has branches and every tree has leaves and fruit, depending on what kind of tree, they, tree it is. And since there's obviously wine, a wine tree, it would grow fruit because wine is made out, made out of grapes, and grapes are, um, uh, in the olden period, that used to be what they used to uh, call wine, because in the olden period it was just called grape juice, and it was just like grape juice, wine used to be grape juice, but now the wine that you see and that people drink, bad people drink, is the wine that's harmful and isn't good and it's sinful if you drink it. So, we're talking about the good wine in the olden period over here. So Jesus said that I am the true wine tree and my father is the gardener. And that when a tree has the, when the wine tree grows branches, uh, every branch that um, twirls up with me and walks with me and is like connected to me very like well and is connected to me and follows me through the way. And because, you know, branches grow from like when a tree is very small, it's like the branches are tiny. But when the tree grows bigger and bigger and bigger into a bigger tree, obviously, the branches grow also along with the tree because it gets nourished and stuff. So Jesus said that when the branches grow and the branches that are connected to me are over here, he's talking about people that are good and that walk with him and are connected to him. And then he said that every branch that walks with me, he's talking about people here that are connected to him and connected to God and that worship him, praise him and read the word of God, pray every single day, and, you know, are grateful and thankful to God and, like, Jesus for what they have. And so he said that every branch that grows with me is going to obviously grow fruit because it was a wine tree, and, if like, a wine is made out of grapes, and so it would grow grapes. So Jesus said that the wine tree grows fruit when it is connected to me, and it has, like, you know, it does all those good things, pray, pray, prays every day, sings, like, spiritual songs and worships every day, walks on the path of God and all that stuff. Then that branch grows fruit and it is it becomes fruitful and then the tree, the entire tree becomes fruitful eventually if everyone starts walking with God and if every branch is connected to Jesus. But then Jesus said about, uh, talked about the wood of the wine tree and he said to his disciples that the, the, wine, the wood of the wine tree is very, very, like, um, very thin and it's not, like, um, so thick and so, like, heavy and stuff that you can make furniture and tables and wood furniture out of it because a lot of, wood, like, a lot of the furniture is usually made out of wood, but the wine tree's wood of the tree, it was very thin and it was very, um, you could, like, crack it into pieces easily and it was very thin and you couldn't really make wood out of it, like, wood furniture out of it. So Jesus said that when one of the branches don't walk with me and don't um, aren't like to me as a branch, then those branches fall off and they will be cut off because, but they'll uh, they'll be cut off, and because there's no use of the wine tree branches, uh, the wild wine tree branches, that they will just fall off and they would have no use and they would just lie there and do nothing. And now here he's talking about the worldly people in this world and how those worldly people aren't connected to God, but like not as much so that they can bear fruit and they start 
um, getting like bearing fruit, and so other like other like the other people and like the other wine tree, the wild wine tree, the branches are like very thin and very very thin. They can't even do anything. They're useless. Then that's um, how Jesus explaining the worldly people here, and that's everyday story. So now we're we'll moving on to our Morocco Day story, and after that we're gonna be doing the activity for today. Before we go, I tell you guys the more for today's story, make sure to go comment on all the more for today's story because me and Zion, we love reading guys' comments and like um, your what you think about the what you think the more for today's story is. And we just love hearing you guys' comments and see what you think about the show and everything and the activities and the fun stuff. So before we do uh, get started, I, before I tell you guys the more for today's story myself, I want Zion to think, uh, Zion, Zion to tell hmm. us what he thinks. Zion, go ahead, tell on everyone. I think the more of the story is that. Uh, we should follow the path of, of Jesus, like the good branches, and the white tree, and be like the wine tree. And we should always be in the path of God and Jesus. And that's why I should flourish and be a fruit. Okay, Zion, good job. You did a good job. Okay, anyway, so now I'm going to tell you guys the more of day story. So the more of day story, Zion did a very good job. I'm just going to be adding on to some of the things that Zion said. Okay. So... <laughs> So basically, we have to be—we have to be like the good branches. We have to walk with God, and connect with Him, and be connected and attached to Him, both mentally and physically. And we have to make it our New Year New Year's goal to improve ourselves um, in whatever tar targets we have, and whatever we want to achieve this year, and whatever goals or targets you have set for yourselves. And also have to uh, and connect with God, like the good wine tree, and. So we don't get cut off because the uh, the branches that will be cut off will obviously then get judged by God. So that's why we want to connect, be connected to, with God, so that we can be a fruit and be good people. To worship God, read the Word of God every single day, pray every day. So yeah, that's the more of today's story. Make sure you guys kind of love the more story also because we love reading guys' comments. Okay, you guys. So now we are all back. We have a bunch of stuff here. For, a, for bunch, four bunch, hour bunch, 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 um, craft or activity, whatever you want to call it, here it's like so, a four-minute craft. So I'm gonna be telling you guys all we like, all you guys will need to do this, or all, like whatever we have here to like, you know. Bro, what are we? This is all you need. Yeah. So first of all, the main thing, like main ingredient you need, is clay. So we have a bunch of air dry clay. And this is like the very we soft have, kind, not the like kind of hard kind. We have the soft yeah. kind. So we have that. And this one's like easier to find too. And yeah, so then we also have this. We also have these little like books here too, um, because they're flat. Like our magazine table. stuff. So we have these tables here. Are like our yeah. table here is like they textured. have this texture. Yes, yeah, so we don't so, want that to transfer onto the clay yeah, when we're rolling it out. Yeah, and whenever we do our drawings, like it makes the marks on it textured. Yeah, so that's why. So yeah. we have these down because they're flat. And they had no texture on them. Mm -hmm. And then I also have this pizza cutter to cut down, like trim down. But I'm using the stuff, the these plastic to tools. Work. Yeah. So you're gonna need because something. Because I'm a little kid. So you're gonna need something to cut with and trim with, like a roller yeah. and like like something to trim with, like maybe a cutter or some scissors or like mm -hmm. a pizza cutter, whatever you want, like to use. And then I also have this cute little hard cutter shape. I don't even know if I'm gonna be using this. It's a cookie cutter shape. Yeah, it's a cookie cutter, but like we're using it as a clay cutter. Oh. <laughs> LOL. Anyway, so we're using that. We also have that. Mm -hmm. And then here's the main stuff we're going to be using also. We're going to be, uh, so we have a bunch of things. So if you guys want to make a earrings, bunch. I have my little box yeah. here, and I have like a cute little unicorn sticker that I made myself on it. So then I made some of these butterfly earrings. Yeah, anyways, so uh, here I have like a little box, and I have a bunch of different things in it. So like, kind yeah. of like our box. Then I was making. And like keychains, keychains and, and stuff. Yeah, uh, like jewelry and things. So first of all, a you lot. need like a keychain like this. Now you can take one off of any like other keychain that keychain. you have, or you can be kind of smart and do it like maybe take help of your parents if you're but before not you old do enough. That, you need one of these like um little rings. Right? Yeah. So these are the main one of these. Still one of the main things you need a keychain. You can order these off uh like online, yeah. or you can get them on like at, at any like hardware store or something like that. But yeah, yeah, I got them online and I got like a hundred pack of these. So yeah, I got those. And then I also got oh, eye pins. Yep. Now you're really gonna need eye pins if you oh, wanna you do this. Really do. Yeah, so eye pins are something like You just can't like, just stick the keychain thing into yeah, the Yeah, so clay. they look like, like that's not possible. Okay. So they look like this. If you guys can see them. And they're kind of just like this round thing, and then they have a pointy little 
stick at the bottom, and they're just so you can stab them into the clay, and so then you stab can... Stab it! So then you... And then we also have this little jump ring here. The jump rings you put into here, you open them up, and then you put it in here. I put Okay. Sauce. And then you put the uh, the keychain ring inside of the jump ring, and we'll show that guys. We'll show you guys that later. <laughs> but that's just like what you need to get started. Like literally what you need and to if you're gonna make earrings, you need like these earring things. I have a bunch of these too. But yeah, so they're just like the earring hooks or whatever. Yeah, to make earrings out of. And obviously, you need two of those if you know you want to make earrings. Anyways. So now we're gonna get started and we're gonna start molding some stuff, molding some stuff and getting some yep. ideas into our heads and see what we wanna do. But it's gonna be really fun, you guys, and make sure you guys try this out, because oh my god, I like love I did this before and it was so much fun with my friends, right, Zane? Yeah. Yeah, I've done it so once too. Yeah, so just follow along, it'll be really, really fun. I promise you're not gonna wanna miss out on this. So yeah, That's let's get started. Fun. So guys, I'm helping Zion out right now. And I just took the orange, this orange plate out of its like packaging thingy. And yeah. So Zion wants to make this like pretty little sun, right? Cause it's gonna be so cute. I feel like, so I'm helping Zion out with that. So some colors. So for this, we're gonna be, we're gonna be using like this orange. Yep. I think it's like really pretty orange. And then a really sure, pretty, no, orange. pretty orange. So we're only gonna take a little bit of the yellow, right? And we're gonna be mixing, we're taking half of this yellow. And no, we're white. Make a ball, put it back in. Okay, we're gonna be taking this much orange, like a tiny little ball, and we have like a little bit of the yellow. We're just gonna be mixing that in, because it's gonna make a really pretty yellow color. Like a creamy, really pretty. Like orangey yellow color, like the sun. Like, see, it's already turning, and it's like a mustardy color. Ooh, it's so pretty. So we're going to be doing this for the sun, plus the orange at the sides, and it'll be really, really pretty. So, oh God, here is shade. the sun. I love it. Okay, I'm going to be helping Zion out. So, I'm going to be molding I'm gonna it I'm going to think Zion. about making something else. So, I'm just kind of right, rounding up this um, sun. Right. Yeah. I'm thinking about something else to make. Okay, good for you. So, here, okay, that's it. That's, like, all we're going to do for the sun. Okay, you guys, so now you're all back. So, um, um, I just finished making Zion's sun, and I, I have my eye pin right here, and you want to make sure you put the eye pin in, because if you don't, um, it's not going to be able to turn into a keychain. As you can see, it's like a silver thingy right here. And so now we're just going to let this dry, and when it's, like, done drying, we're just going to be, like, putting the... Jump ring and other keychain thingy, keychain ring inside of that. But now, so Zion wants to make a piggy face, right? Piggy yeah. emoji face. I thingy. think it, it has like this. I think it's this. It's okay, fine. so I want to make a cute <clears throat> little rainbow, and yeah. Can you cut this up? So I'm gonna make some. Okay, so I'm gonna make me making some cute little rainbow I earrings. I want to make a burger too. Oh yeah, I'm gonna make a burger. I'm gonna make a burger. Or burger. Okay, so let's work on the burger first. You should work on the burger. I'll be yeah. working on the so piggy Zion's face. working on the piggy face. I'm going to be working on the burger. I'm just going to make the face because, so like... for the burger, let's you know, see. We need brown, right? Definitely need brown. Like, a brown, brown is the must. Must. Like, is a must. So, we're going to be taking this brown. Oh, I'm gonna it looks so some cool. more. I'm going to make, like, a big piggy face. No, maybe it's kind of small. Just like, like this. That's too big, I feel like. Make it thick though. So like take thick. this. Like okay. That's it. Don't take more. Okay. So I'm gonna be cutting. I have this to make this open. Like really smooth. I'm gonna be pick the, um, cutting this one open. It should be like the center of the sun. It should be like a little bit flat, okay? Okay. A little okay. flat. Here. Oh my god. This looks like Pure. chocolate. And I wanna and eat it. Do. It looks so good. It looks like Okay. Okay, that's so It's nice. like literally Nutella just like squished. Just like sitting on my hand. Okay, anyways, I'm going to be taking a little bit of this for the bun. Oh, no. I actually, I accidentally kind of squished it. So I'm going to be taking some for the bun, and I also need some white for the bun. And you also need some 
you Okay, let me let me work on mine, okay? And you start working on yours. Okay. Please. Okay, guys, so I'm going to be mixing this white into the um, brown. I'm only taking a little bit right now because I don't want to take too much because, you know. Ooh, it looks so pretty, Zane. Look. Yeah. Okay, so I want to make it into, like, a nice cream, like, um, like a nice peachy kind of color for the bun because, obviously, I don't want it to be, like, too, too brown because I need this kind of brown for the patty. So obviously turn more light, but it's still not kind of the color that I want. I'm gonna be adding, I'm gonna be adding a little bit more white into here. And then I think I'm gonna be doing the I'm adding I'm gonna be adding a little bit of yellow or a little bit of orange. I think yellow will help. Because I want it to be more pale. Okay, so this turned into like a like a very nice kind of brown. We're gonna be adding a little bit of yellow in here now. For some reason, this looks like Pinocchio. So I'm making my burger bun right now. I'm working on the top bun, and then we'll be doing the bottom bun also. Um, I need some white for the little seeds. Okay. So I'm making them like this. Actually, even smaller, because I think these are too big. Okay. Okay, we're going to be doing another one now. I'm just going to be doing about, like, five or six around this bun area. So you guys, I'm doing the ears of my little pig that I'm making. I was going to make a Roblox piggy, but then I was like, now nah, let's make a little pig. It's cuter. So I'm working on the second ear. And I'm going to smooth it a little bit. I'm just going to put some of that, take it down. But mostly, I'll be using these to kind of take the shape, put it down there. And do a little bit of that same thing. So, wait, I, oh yeah. Good. So now I'm gonna take the black and I'm gonna be making the eyes of the little pig. So take these. I'm not gonna make them that big actually. So like, yeah. I think like this. Is good. Yeah. Oh no, it's ruined. Let's make it again. I, it's fine. I think you can still fix it though. Yeah, I can. Let's do this again. I don't want to ruin it at all this time. Okay, it's actually just starting to look like a Roblox piggy, but I don't know. It looks good. It's okay. Yeah. Guys, I'm working on my bottom bun. Here's what the top bun looks like. It's like I um, seeded it all up, and it has, like, the sesame seeds on it now. And I'm working on the bottom bun. So I'm just circling it up, just like I did with the, that, like, that That's one. nice. You put sesame seeds on, too. Yeah. Cool. Okay, so I just want it to be, like, so, nice and equal. I'm done. You guys, I'm done with my piggy. I was going to make a normal pig, but then I actually... I was, like, going to make a cute eye, but it turned out being, like, um, one of the uh, touch things that Piggy has. So then I just thought, let's make it. So uh, I made the little ears out of this clay. I made everything out of this clay, but I used the black for the little eye patch. And I made, I also used, where is it? Yeah, I used this for, like, that eye, and I wrapped around some of that. It's actually pretty easy to make. And I used the nose. I made the nose with this. And I made the little nostrils just with this. I made the little nostrils. I poked it. And that's how I made this. Okay, guys. So as you guys can see, Zion is all done with his little piggy corrector that he was making. Yep. And so I'm just going to be putting the pin. Piggy. I'm going to be putting the pin inside. Be very careful. And just like, you don't have to like make a hole and screw it in. Yeah, it's you not, don't have to do that. Just that like, would just like we... poke it in. It would yeah. ruin it and it would like it would come out easily. You want to just like put it in like, like Yeah, this. you don't have to make a hole. If you ha make a hole first and then put it in. It will like be too big for the pin. I just want to kind yeah, of. Yeah, and it will also your whole thing would yeah. just get ruined. All you want to do is just kind of like just squish it in there. You don't yeah. want to 
like move it too much so it like the thing you literally get don't want to move yeah it. but you don't want to screw it in because that's gonna ruin and your like thingy. if you're ever making anyway like, something... so we're gonna let this dry too along with our cute little cutie 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 sun and um i'm working on my bun burger buns here oh okay so i'm gonna be doing my cheese, cheese. Ooh, I love cheese. Okay, I'm looking for something all round. Okay, this is quite all round. Around. I think I'm going to be using yeah, this. this. quite round. Okay, so here is my patty. It looks very meaty because okay. of the color. It's, like, very dark. So I'm going to be taking a cutter. I'm just going to be, like, very lightly, not too tight, like, not too, um, uh, I'm not going to put, like, a lot of pressure on the cutter or on the clay, but we're just going to kind of make it, like, very, um, slightly. all in the details y'all so you guys i'm putting together my um burger so i have the meat here it's the patty here it's the top bun now i'm gonna be putting in my lettuce oh my god that is like a magnificent burger okay so the burger is done so what it looks like i love it so much i'm just gonna be folding down like on the lettuce okay at the end we'll show you guys some of the ones we've made at home too okay so that's what it looks like oh my god it looks so cool okay i think i should okay no perfect so now i'm gonna be putting a pin an eye pin over here okay and i think i'm gonna do it like yeah okay so as you guys saw i just stabbed it in so it'll like hang like this it looks yep. so so cute i love it so so much Where do you Put it oh, okay. right here. Side. Okay, so now I'm going to be showing you guys a really, really cool technique for making some uh, amazing looking earrings right now. So they're going to be super, super simple, like I am telling you. Super simple. I've seen Rosanna make them in about two, three minutes. Okay, like so we're going to start right now. It's going to take like literally two to seconds. So we have some yellow right here. Take a little bit more. Okay, we need adding some white in here. Where's this white? tiger is gonna be the white. worst tiger I've ever made. Okay, so we're gonna take some white and make it into pastel yellow real quick. Okay, really quickly. Here, mixing it up, mixing it up. We want it to be like mix, a nice pastel mix, yellow. Mix, mix. mix. Okay, you and so it it's like literally so easy. Like you're not gonna believe how easy this is. So you have like a nice pastel yellow here now, like a lemony pastel yellow. Okay, we're going to be dividing this into like half a part, and then we're going to be dividing that half part into another half part, like two other parts. So we're just going to roll that up until it's nice and soft and smooth and like a nice ball shape, right? I've made some of these earrings before, like, and I love making them because they're so, so simple. You can make so many different colors, experiment with a bunch of different colors, basically. So, yeah. And they look so nice on the ears, and like when you have them on, they look even nicer with like matching outfits and stuff, you know. So they're just like little circles. So I have my first circle down. We're Once working. Uh, then it was at home. We were doing a challenge. Who can make the best best like um what is it called again? Yeah, koi keychain. But we both were playing together, and what happened? Was I had Zena. a bunch of Axis clay, and I didn't want to waste it. Yeah. And so I rolled it up, and I was and like, ooh, I made, made out like, of it. And then I made so many of them. Like, I cannot tell you And made these really cool earrings. I'm, I'm literally going to show you guys, like, the stuff in the end of what we also made at home. Right, Zena? Yeah. We're going to show okay. you guys the stuff. So here's here. what they look like. They're two yeah. equal balls. You want to make sure they're equal, because if they're not Here, equal, make an earring head of this. Here. So I am taking two of the um, uh, eye pins and I'm stabbing them right into the little yellow balls. And there you go, you have two cute little earrings and we're going to be putting them into the thingy later. We're just going to let them dry just a little bit. Okay, so now I'm going to do the same thing with purple. Okay, look, I made my tiger. This is the worst <laughs> Okay, guys, so now I'll be showing you guys all of the... Um, keychains and earrings that we made today. So I'm taking all these out of the little book, off the little book, so I can show you guys all of them. These are the ones we made at home. 
So now I'm going to show you guys all of the earrings and keychains and stuff like that that I made. So this one I made at home. It's a little octo. And I know an octopus has eight legs, but I made it into six. And then the little excess balls that were left, I made cute little um, blue earrings with that. And this is my octo keychain. It has like two little eyes, <laughs> dot eyes. And I think that it's like so cute. And then I made these cute little lollipops. So this one is a pink, blue, and yellow swirl. It's so, so cute. It looks I don't know color. how Zena made that, but somehow it's really pretty. You made that. And then I also made this yellow and blue and a little bit of white one. Love and then I made it. these blue and white ones, which are so, so cute. You can use this as earrings, but yeah. I don't think you are going to. And then I also made this cute little sun in front of you guys today. Also this cute little really big looking burger. <laughs> and then I also made these little um, yellow ball earrings. And then we also we made, made these purple these ball earrings. earrings today, right? And then Zion helped me make these cute little egg, the I, dinosaur, like these really cute egg earrings. I think they're so cute. I made the shape and stuff. And I it looks so good, like a neon orange or like a black outfit. And then I also made these really cute little rainbow earrings. At home. Yeah, I love home. these so, so much. And they look like, so cute with any like outfit. So now I'll be showing you guys what I made. I made first, first I made this hat home. I made this little like red imposter with the plant hat. But I'm not sure if this is actually going to be a keychain. Then I made the little dead body mangas. I'm a really big mangas fan. So like, so basically what happened, he was actually alive. So what happened? Red came. Touching. He went into his dead body form. And then someone else came and reported it. And then some that person who reported it actually thought that they were the imposter. And then Red was like, it's you, it's you, it's you, it's you, it's you. You killed self report. <laughs> and then, um, and this is actually something that happened with me. I killed, I got green, I was red, and then purple found the body. But like, like, next thing, I made the little Z out of all the access clay. I took it up, I collected it, and then oh, I rolled yeah. it up, and I made a little Z. And then this was the worst thing I've ever made. <laughs> this is Togri. Togri. I call it Togri. <laughs> Togri. It's like horrid Henry for some reason. This is a black cat. Black cat with the mood on. And then my one of my favorites and one of the best looking ones, Piggy. And then this is really cute. I was going to make it like Hosanna, like literally just like Hosanna. But then I thought, let's make it different. And I made it a little tiara. <laughs> or like a, I don't know what to call it, but you this. <laughs> what? <laughs> <laughs> okay, guys, so I'm going to be showing you guys how you guys can, um, like, uh, when they're done drawing, how you guys can put them into keychains and, like, transform them into keychains. I'm going to be using my octagon here. And I'm just going to be opening up the jump ring just like this. You want to open it like this, not like this. Because then it would like rip open and it would be no, of no use. So you're just going to slide that into the eye ring, um, eye, eye pin. And then you're going to put the key ring inside. And that's your keychain. And so now I'm going to be showing you guys how to make, you have a lovely little keychain on there now. Mm -hmm. Now I'm going to show you guys how you guys can make cute little earrings. So we're going to be using these purple ones, these blue ones right here. And you're just gonna want to open up the jump ring just like you did for the keychain. And you're just gonna put your jump ring right inside. Put okay. my piggy as an example. And then and then you're gonna be taking um a little earring hook thingy and you're gonna slide this little like circle. You're just gonna slide that into right here, and then you're gonna close the jump ring and you have your little earring. Say say God bless you. Bye.